Hi there. Welcome to Sterling's Global. My name is Jay, and I'm one of the specialists in Sterling's Global, a UK-based accounting firm specializing in traditional business and e-commerce. Today, our discussion will focus on the Dubai tax-free zone, tackling what it is and how it works. But before that, let us first talk about the history of the Dubai tax-free zone. The Dubai tax-free zone concept originated in the late 1980s when the government of the United Arab Emirates, or UAE, introduced a series of policy initiatives to diversify the economy away from oil. A significant part of the strategy was the establishment of several tax-free zones designed to incentivize foreign businesses to invest in the region. The first such zone, Jebel Ali Free Zone, or JAFZA, was launched in 1985 and marked the beginning of a new era for the Emirate. Since then, Dubai has seen a proliferation of tax-free zones catering to various industries, including the Dubai International Financial Center, or DIFC, Dubai Internet City, and Dubai Media City. Now, let's move on to Understanding the Dubai Tax-Free Zone the Dubai Tax-Free Zone is a designated area within the Emirate where companies can operate with various business incentives, including zero corporate and personal income taxes and simplified registration processes. The UAE government has strategically positioned these zones to encourage foreign investment in key industries such as finance, technology, media, and manufacturing. Next, we have the key benefits of the Dubai Tax-Free Zone. The numerous advantages of setting up a business in Dubai tax-free zone include the following. Tax Benefits As the name suggests, companies in the Dubai tax-free zone enjoy a tax-free environment. This means no corporate tax, personal income tax, or withholding tax on dividends or capital gains. These benefits make the Dubai tax-free zone an attractive destination for businesses looking to optimize their tax planning. Simplified Registration and Licensing Dubai tax-free zones have streamlined the registration and licensing process, making it quicker and easier for businesses to set up and operate. Many zones also offer a one-stop shop service, allowing companies to complete all necessary paperwork in one location. World-Class Infrastructure each Dubai tax-free zone boasts state-of-the-art infrastructure tailored to the specific industry it serves. This includes high-speed internet connectivity, advanced communication systems, and modern office spaces. Access to a skilled workforce The Dubai tax-free zone attracts professionals worldwide, providing businesses with a diverse and highly skilled workforce. Our list of benefits is overflowing and if it's making you interested in setting up a business in the Dubai Tax-Free Zone, keep watching. Establishing a company in the Dubai Tax-Free Zone involves several steps, including number 1. Selecting the appropriate zone Businesses must first identify the tax-free zone that best aligns with their industry and requirements. Number 2. Choosing the legal structure Companies must decide on the most suitable legal structure for their business, such as a Free Zone Establishment, or FZE, and Free Zone Company, or FZC, or a branch office. Number 3. Preparing Documentation Applicants must prepare the necessary documentation such as a business plan, passport copies of shareholders and directors, and proof of address. Number 4. Obtaining Licenses and Permits Depending on the nature of the business, companies may need to secure various licenses and permits such as trade license, service license, or industrial license. Number 5. Opening a Corporate Bank Account After receiving the necessary licenses, businesses should open a corporate bank account with a local or international bank in the UAE. Number 6. Setting up the office Finally, companies must establish a physical presence within the Dubai tax-free zone by leasing or purchasing office space. But wait, we have a caveat. Challenges and considerations in the Dubai tax-free zone 
While the Dubai tax-free zone offers numerous benefits, there are undoubtedly some challenges and considerations for businesses to keep in mind. Restrictions on Business Activities Companies operating in the Dubai tax-free zone must adhere to the specific business activities permitted within their chosen zone. For instance, a company in Dubai Internet City needs to refrain from engaging in manufacturing activities. Limited Market Access Businesses established in the Dubai tax-free zone can freely trade within the zone and with international markets, but they may face restrictions when dealing with a local UAE market. Companies seeking to access the broader UAE market may need to establish a local presence outside the tax-free zone or work with a local distributor. Cost of Living While the Dubai tax-free zone offers tax advantages, the cost of living in the city can be high. Companies should factor in housing, transportation, and other living expenses when considering relocation. The Dubai tax-free zone has played a significant role in transforming the emirate into a global business hub. However, it is essential to carefully consider the challenges and requirements of setting up a business in the Dubai tax-free zone. And before ending the video, let us first answer some of your frequently asked questions about Dubai tax-free zones. How can I enter a tax-free zone in Dubai? To enter a Dubai tax-free zone, you must follow procedures for setting up a business, including researching the suitable free zone, selecting the appropriate legal structure, preparing necessary documentation, and applying for relevant licenses and permits. Consulting with a professional business advisor is highly recommended to ensure regulation compliance. How much does a free zone cost in Dubai? The cost of setting up a business in Dubai Free Zone ranges from 15,000 dirham to 50,000 dirham or more. Remember that ongoing fees such as annual license renewals, office rents, and visa fees for employees should also be considered when estimating the total cost of operating in a Dubai Tax Free Zone. And lastly, can I set up a virtual office in a Dubai Tax Free Zone? Some Dubai tax-free zones allow businesses to establish virtual offices, offering services such as a registered address, telephone answering, and mail handling. However, this option may not be available in all zones, and verifying the regulations specific to the chosen zone is crucial. And that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. We hope our video helped you learn more about Dubai's tax-free zones. For more professional advice on your tax accounting needs, consult us by visiting the Sterlings Global website at sterlingsglobal.com. If you enjoy our content and want to explore more similar topics, please like and subscribe to our channel. To stay updated, why don't you have a look at our other social media platforms? The links are in the description below. Once again, I'm Jay from Sterlings Global, and I will see you on the next video.